So it's been a little while since we've had a conversation, you and I, right? So today we're just going to talk, right? So I have a hundred and one things that I would love to share with you. It's been quite a while. And I'm sure that you've got 101 questions, especially those of you who have been watching me on YouTube or following me online for years, what is actually a decade since I uploaded my first YouTube video. So uh, the fact that I've had a recent absence and you know, over the past few years, two years, I've had intermittent fast, uh, fasting. Yeah. Fasting, right? I was going to stop the video, but fuck that. Yeah, fasting. Fasting from you for making these videos, right? Um, but instead of trying to catch you up right now, I'm going to give you some perspective on what's actually happening with all of us, you know, given my circumstances and your uh, viewership. Yesterday I was reminded of a story. My brother had me listen to a Les Brown video, right? Those of you who are familiar with Les Brown. He's a motivational speaker. And uh, one of the gifts that motivational speakers bring forth are wonderful parables, metaphors, and stories. And Les Brown gave the good old bamboo growth story. And for those of you who are not familiar with it, I'll relate it to you very briefly. Uh, according to National Geographic, the bamboo plant, right, when it is very young, say you've got a little baby bamboo plant and you plant it in the earth, right, it will stay a particular size, right? It will stay, say, uh, six inches or a foot long, foot tall, for many, many, many years. People will walk by and look at this thing and think, well, it's not doing anything, right? This plant is just the same size it was two years ago. What's it doing? Well, underneath the surface, down below, within the nourishing confines and uh, environment of the earth, the roots of that bamboo plant are growing out, growing deep. And for years, for many, many years, that plant stays the same size and it digs deep. It goes deep. It fulfills its foundation requirement, its nutritional requirement. It's going into the earth. And then a funny thing happens. One day, the plant grows 90 feet tall. In a matter of weeks, it goes from being its tiny self to a massive, tall, reaching for the sky plant. That is a metaphor for how we all grow stronger. If you're going to ascend, if you're going to grow stronger, grow taller, reach for the stars, then there will inevitably be times of going down, deep, in catabasis, right? It's this process of going down, building more roots, deeper roots, stronger foundation, right? And you experience this all throughout your life. You're, we're constantly doing this on a physical level and on a metaphysical level, right? And as it relates to our experience, our relationship, you and I, right? Me feeding people through these videos, feeding you with ideas, information, inspiration, all the things that you want to absorb, and you receiving it, well, there's been a cutoff, right? Like I said before, I use that term intermittent fasting because it was a fast. It is a fast, right? The outward expression, the upward growth, the extroversion is only possible to its full capacity, right? Because you can, you can continue to give, 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 give. You can continue to try to reach for the sky while your roots wither and shrink or just stay the same. But if there's going to be a stronger version of you, a stronger version of Elliot Hulse, it is absolutely 100% necessary that there is a going in process all the time. I don't care where you are in life, what you're doing, there will be a physical and a metaphysical going down, digging deep, spreading your roots, getting into the earth of your body, the earth of your mind, the physical earth itself to ground yourself before you can skyrocket up just like that bamboo plant and that's what's going on here folks so um you know what that all looks like 
Well, it's easy to look on the surface to figure out what's really going on, right? I could uh, spend the next, well, you know, we're going to be talking for a little while here, here, so uh, grab yourself a, a drink. I can talk 30 minutes about what I've been doing in that going down process, right? That digging deep process, that growing roots process, right? But that's very subjective. It's very individual. What's required for you to become a stronger version of yourself? Those things that you have to deal with in the shadows, deal with in the, the dark, deal with in the dirt, deal with in the soil, your ground. It's very subjective. Everybody's different. And if I were to begin sharing what I've been doing, what I, I, it will almost sound like Elliot's giving advice again. Right? And I'm not here to give advice. I never really have been here to give advice. Everything that I've offered you through these videos has been a matter of my experience and my sharing what has worked best for me. Right? There's a good chance that I'll probably be back with more videos. But guess what? I will have that much more experience, that much more depth of self and content to share with you when I decide to do it. Right? So, uh, like I alluded to, the best way to know what's going on inside someone is to look at the outside, right? The best way to know someone's, uh, the depths of someone character, someone's character is to look at, you know, what's going on in the outside, right? So um, let's talk a little bit about what's happening on the outside, the most obvious manifestations of my process and our relationship together. Uh, one of the things for sure is that with a going down, there is a subsequent going up. Right? I said to someone very recently that uh, life is often like a basketball, right? You want, if you want to bounce that basketball up high, you got to slam that shit down really hard. The harder it slams, the harder it goes down. The deeper you go, the higher you go also. Just like the friggin' basketball, just like the uh, bamboo plant. And I need some water. Where the hell is my water? Oh, right here. Good. So, let's continue our conversation with regard to what that uh, bouncing up or what that skyrocketing growth looks like, right? What that bamboo looks like. For one, Strength Camp Gym has evolved leaps and bounds over the past two years. Strength Camp Gym has gone from my warehouse gym in the south side of St. Pete, where we had crackheads and prostitutes, right? To the little studio that I had on Haynes Road, where most of you got to know me because I honed my craft as a video presenter. And for two, three years, I made videos, lots of videos, tons of them, just feeding into the camera, right? And then, I decided, circumstances were such, that it was time to go back and grow Strength Camp Gym, right? Strength Camp Gym is displayed in the new videos that you see with our coaches at the gym, the things that we're doing, the members that we have. We never had any members at the second Strength Camp because I was so busy making these videos, right? What I set out to do from the beginning was to build a gym, to have a Strength Camp. Right? That's what, I, that's what this has been about from the beginning. Right? I decided to dedicate a few years of my life to sharing through this camera, but ultimately, the goal has been and is being achieved that Strength Camp grows up. Strength Camp has not only grown up in St. Petersburg, and we have a wonderful clientele, we have a ton of clients, but Strength Camp is always also growing in many other ways as well. One thing for uh, example is Strength Camp Media. From the very beginning I have been a publisher. I have been a writer. I've created products, info products, educational products. From the very beginning. But when I decided to make videos and dedicate a few years to making these videos for YouTube, I stopped all that. I stopped writing. I stopped creating in that particular way because I wanted to give through these videos. I enjoyed doing it, right? One of the things that had to happen 
for Strength Camp Media to be picked back up, for my websites to be picked back up, to begin making products again, and to publish other people because, you know, Elliot Hulse doesn't believe he's the only one with great information to publish. We have great trainers at the gym who will be publishing their products. Mark has an Olympic lifting product coming out pretty soon. Julie is a great dietitian. She'll be supporting us with uh, nutrition coaching. We have Strength Camp co online coaching coming very soon. All of which is only possible because Elliot Hulse had to go deep. Elliot Hulse needed to grow roots. Elliot Hulse had to, had to go down to go up, especially in areas that were lagging, right? This process continues to go on and always goes on. Strength Camp also is expanding through Strength Camp International. And I'm not going to reveal exactly what that is. In fact, uh, that won't be revealed to most of you watching this because uh, it will really just be revealed first and foremost to the 100 people who signed up for the Strength Camp Clinic and Business Seminar that's happening in November which by the way thank you to everyone who decided to sign up we sold out in 10 days I I'm really excited about that because if I were just to continue making videos inspiring videos talking to you I wouldn't have the opportunity to invite you, a hundred of you, to my gym where I can show you what we do at Strength Camp. Show you how Strength Camp has become successful through our business model. Right? All wonderful work. All of which could only be possible if I take a break. Right? Take a break from making lots of videos. And, you know, before I continue, I, a part of the reason why I haven't shared this is because I don't want this to sound like an Elliot Hulse diatribe. This is all Elliot Hulse just talking about Elliot Hulse and what's going on with Elliot Hulse. It's never been that way. and it never, It's never been my intention to be that. My intention is to share my experiences so that perhaps you could glean some wisdom from someone else's life experiences, right? As you listen to me, think about yourself. Think about how this applies to you. Where in my life am I dropping the ball? Not that it's a bad thing, but perhaps I need to put things down a little bit so other things can grow. And then you're going to reach a point where you're going to ask yourself, well, I'd like to grow these things again. Let me go down and figure out. And let me tell you something about the going down process All right, before I continue. I told you this is going to be a rant. The going down process is a going into solitude, a going into silence, a going into a space where you can begin to hear the voice of your heart again. Right? I make these videos giving you guys all kinds of advice about listening to your heart and following your gut, right? Well, guess what? The rules apply here too. And one of the things, if I had to give you some of the lessons that I've learned in my going down time in my catabasis, is that solitude, silence, space, sacred space, is critical and that's what I've been doing a lot of we also have right and I'm sharing this all with you out of excitement because it's amazing over the past two years what has happened what's going what's going on and all the opportunities for you Shrimp Camp Jim grows and Elliot Hulse it's not even about Elliot Hulse it's about the opportunities I've been able to create for our partners and our trainers and our coaches and our online coaches, and our clients. Elliot Hulse can't do it all himself. Everything I'm talking to you about is less of a bragging and more of a look at the opportunities that are available for all of us now. Strength Camp Gym, Strength Camp Media, Strength Camp International, and the Strength Camp Summit, World Summit. It's been a dream of mine since becoming YouTube famous to invite everyone from around the world who wants to come to Strength Camp Right? And take advantage of everything that we have in one week to come and do that. And that's what we're doing, right? Elliot Hulse has had his gym open for people to come on Mondays for Open Gym for many, many years. And people still come. But if you want to come to a strength camp clinic, you want to experience active meditation, if you want to learn about business, you want to take advantage of your strength and power and compete in the strength camp challenge, if you want to meet, greet, speak to, learn from myself and other experts, well, why have it spread out all over the place all over the year? Why not have one strength camp world summit week? That's what's going on. That's what's happening. 
And I want to give you this gift. The World Summit also has opportunities not just to come and to learn and to experience and to uh, compete, but we are looking to provide opportunities. One of the opportunities is we're looking for volunteers. Well, first of all, we're looking for interns, right? Every employee at Shrimp Camp has been an intern. Shrimp Camp is growing. Shrimp Camp is, is, is doing great work and creating more opportunities for more people worldwide and we're looking for interns. So I'll put a link down below so that you can uh, apply for an internship. It's a beautiful institution we've created, an opportunity to come. I don't like to hire anyone or marry anyone that I haven't spent enough time getting to know their character, right? I married my high school girlfriend. It should be an indication to you that I like to develop relationships. That's what the internship is all about. It's all about you spending some time here with me and us and seeing if it's a good fit, seeing what kind of uh, creativity, what kind of effort, what kind of relationship we could develop together, right? What are we doing? And after 60 to 90 days, if there's a good fit, hey, I want to, I want to continue to grow our staff. I want to have a, a, a big family. I, called our I call our staff the Strength Camp First family. I want to have a big, beautiful family, people that love each other, people that can get along, people that have the same mission, the same mindset, that are on the same journey, and we can do it together. Our internship offers that opportunity for people. The Shrimp Camp Challenge and World Summit's coming up in November. There are opportunities for volunteers. I can tell you right now that our volunteers that have been coming to the Shrimp Camp Challenge have been coming, the same people have been coming back every year, and they cannot wait until we do it again. It's like a big family reunion. I love getting back together with all of the volunteers that have been here year after year. They come from all over the world. It's incredible. It's wonderful. It's such a gift to me and an opportunity for you. Also, Strength Camp, the Strength Camp Clinic is looking to partner with other businesses, right? Other businesses that have internet uh, products and services and many of our local brick and mortar businesses through our sponsorship program. Living Fuel has sponsored the Strength Camp Challenge for, the, for going on three years. That should be an indication as to the type of relationship we intend to build with our sponsors and the type of exposure we hope to provide for our friends. Right? That's what the sponsorship program is all about. Right? We earn a little bit so that we can put it right back into the Strength Camp Challenge. Almost 100% of the proceeds goes right to making the program even better. One of the things that we're going to be able to do this year because of our sponsors is have the Strength Camp Challenge be broadcast worldwide, live streaming. Okay? I told you there's so many things that I want to share with you guys. And I figured, like, let me just make one of these brain dump videos where I just lay it all out here for you. Right? And if you're still here with me, that means... You know, we've developed a good enough relationship where we can just have a conversation. I don't have to entertain you all the time. Right? I don't have to have music and flashing and, uh, you know, be an entertainer. Right? I'd rather put that aside sometimes and just be real with you. And that's what we're doing right now. Finally, moving forward. I mean, I just explained all the incredible things that are happening with Strength Camp and the opportunities to... Uh, to embrace you guys, to, 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 to get to meet you, to uh, reconnect, to rekindle, to reunite, to have a deeper level of communication and love. That's really what it is. There's only so much I can provide you through these videos. There's only so much that I can do. There's only so much energy and love that I can project through this camera. Man, there's nothing like hugging you. There's nothing like meeting somebody who says, Elliot, I've been watching your videos since I was 14 years old and now I'm 21. And it's you've been like a father figure to me. Hugs. Big hugs. I melt when I hear that. If I spend the rest of my life in this, in this room, or I couldn't even make this video at the gym because the gym is popping, talking to myself through this camera, I get robbed of the love return. The return, right? Remember my non-job video? You put out that love, the love comes back. I've gotten the love back monetarily. But that means nothing compared to the love back in heart and soul. 
I can't make videos for the rest of my life and hope to have that heart and soul connection. You know? If it sounds like I'm justifying, well, maybe I am. Past two years has been a process of me trying to figure out who I am, what I'm really put here to do, and to live my authentic self. And it's very difficult for a lot of people to be able to realize that, especially those who have come to be fed from these videos. There's a lesson in that also for you. If you've watched my videos while I was feeding you, and you became addicted, right? Sucking on it, sucking it all in. And when I pull off, if you have a hard time grounding yourself without me feeding you, without you latching on to me, then you've got a lot of work to do. When you could stand on your own feet and not have that oral desire to suck on, to consume, it'll be a lot easier, number one, for you to live an authentic life, but number two, to allow other people to live their authentic lives. All right? I get it. I get up. I get it. There's a pattern interrupt. There's a little disrupt. There's some confusion about it. And I haven't been 100% transparent because I just needed to go in. All right? So the lesson here, for those of you who are latched on and who've had a hard time with my disappearance, it's an opportunity to learn how to integrate the things I've spoken about. To be the thing rather than consuming. We're all consumers. We live in this goddamn consumer machine, matrix. Well, all you do is consume, 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 all day long on the phone, all day long on the computer, sucking in, sucking in, sucking in, thinking that you're learning something, but you're really just filling your head because nothing is embodied. If you want a true gift, you want the real gift of Elliot Hulse's videos, watch one of my videos and go do the thing that I was talking about. On your own feet, on your own ground, in your own way, and get off the tip. And finally, speaking of grounding, one of the, my most proud projects, the one by which I now have the space, the creativity, the authenticity, and the uh, courage to walk forward with and to carry and to, and, to, and to develop as a gift is Grounding Camps. Grounding Camp is my new company where we do camps that offer Osho dynamic meditations and bioenergetic grounding. Those of you who's watched my videos long enough knew that this was a part of what Elliot Hulse wanted to offer to the world. I've had to do a lot of soul searching, a lot of dig, deep digging inside to figure out how I'm going to offer that, right? I, I got a lot of resistance. I got a lot of love because of the videos that introduced bioenergetics and active meditation. But I also got a mirror reflection of my shadow self by those, of, those people who want to denigrate. Elliot Hulse for those ideas. I really had to step back and say, am I, am I real or am I wrong? Well, guess what? Grounding Camp LLC means Elliot Hulse is real about this. We're going on the fourth camp, which sells out. Everything that we've done has sold out within less than two weeks for Grounding Camp. We do bioenergetics, bio dynamic meditation. And in fact, I will be in Amsterdam, Amsterdam right? I'm dehydrated. Probably because I'm a little nervous. I haven't spoken to you guys like this. So bear with me. It's been a while. I will be in Amsterdam smoking weed and doing di di dynamic meditation. <laughs> Throwing myself off. I will be there doing bioenergetics and dynamic meditation and offering a life changing world embracing vision that I've reconnected with and that I want to share with you. If there's a new Elliot, there's also a new message. There's also new empowerment. There's new inspiration. There are new exercises. There are new tools and techniques. And that's what I want to move forward sharing with you in these coming months and years. I appreciate your patience with me, right? I truly do. I know how much you mean to me as much as I mean to you. I just explained how much uh, 
love I've received and will continue to receive because of our relationship. I don't take it for granted. But I do have to create boundaries for myself. And you too learn to create and respect boundaries in your own life so that you can dig deep, spread those roots, get down low, go in so that you can pop out, rise, ascend, and become all that you're meant to be. The strongest version of you is not a destination. It keeps happening. It's cyclical. You don't have one hero's journey in life. You have many. Thank you for being here with me on one of my new hero's journeys. I'm happy to be here and to have supported many of you through your hero's journeys. And I'm excited about our future together. Those of you who will be attending our events in November, I'm overjoyed and excited to meet you there. And I promise you, all of you who uh, show up at some of our grounding camps, Amsterdam, California in February, New York in June, you are my family. Strength Camp, Elliot Hulse, Grounding Camp, God loves you. Done.